rice is a dish prepared by soaking white rice in coconut milk or by cooking it with coconut flakes. In Colombia and Panama, arroz con coco is usually accompanied with fish. In Honduras, it's cooked with coconut oil, coconut milk, onions, and garlic. And in Cuba, they drop the coconut and they add pico de gallo and butter, which still gives it that creamy texture. We made it to La Bamba, a Caribbean restaurant, where our friend Freddy here is going to teach us how to make Cuban rice, which is something that we haven't done yet. Mucho gusto, Freddy. Mucho gusto. Thank you for having us for tenernos acá. Nos puedes dar step by step cómo se hace arroz caribeño, por okay. favor. Yo lo hago. Entonces. Uh, primero, vengo, saco la medida del arroz. Ok. Son cinco. So first he measures the rice. He has, he does seven mm. cups of it. Luego uh, tengo que lavarlo. And then he has yeah. to wash it. You have to wash the rice. ¿Y cuántas personas pueden comer de esto? Um, hacemos para unos 30. 30. This, okay, so this serves around 30 people. Yeah. ¿Y hay mucha diferencia en el arroz mexicano y el arroz cubano? Sí, ¿Qué mucha. Es? El sabor. ¿El qué? El sabor. El sabor. No, es muy distinto todo. Ok, cierta medida se le da nomás. Okay. Ahí lo dejamos. So Ahorita. and after he fills the bowl up with water. Como ingredientes and he gets ready to do all the, put the ingredients inside. This is um, just color, it's powder. Yeah. So this is, this is, it's called consume in Spanish and it gives the rice the flavor. Yeah. It's a seasoning basically. Yeah. So it's really important to stir it really well and thoroughly so that none of the seasoning is clumped up. Good to know. El procedimiento que sigue es llevarlo a cocinar. So now we're going to go to the second station where he's going to cook the rice. Aquí le voy a agregar otros ingredientes que lleva. So he adds a little salt. Unas uh, seis cucharaditas de pico de gallo. Que es la, Six es spoons la receta of pico de gallo. La receta. Oh, 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 This is good. Wow. Ya para el toque final, ya para cocinarlo, pongo unas barras de mantequilla. And you put some bars of butter. And then you hit the gin. Six bars of butter, you guys. Well, not like half bars. So one bar of butter. If you can feel this, it's like gradually getting so thick. Every swirl is harder and harder to turn. Then he yes. adds a little more water so that it gets less yes. thick. Es todo la que lleva. And that's it, and that's the mix. So he basically started yeah. with rice that he washed. Lo a cocinar por unos 45 minutos a mucho que puede... And he lets it cook for 45 minutes so that everything melts and cooks into each other. Ahí lo dejamos que repose con la, la, la llama. So after 20 minutes you put the flame a little lower so that it just stay, the vapor just stays inside and it keeps the flavor going. And that's it. Eso es todo? Eso es todo. Es que Freddy, esperar. gracias. ¿Entonces vamos a esperar o tienes...? Oh, no, yo tengo para darles tienes? el plato. Ahorita. Bueno, ¿por qué no lo okay. probamos? Freddy's going to give us some of his pre-made rice. Oh, you can get a look of it here. It's fluffy and colorful and delicious. Okay. ¿Y esto? Es como debe de quedar el arroz cubano. And this is how it should look at the end. Gracias, Freddy. Okay. Can you go Wow. This is very different. It's like a soft taste. Like the spices don't overpower the softness of the rice. It's like fluffy and smooth and creamy, actually. Esa es la receta que usamos. Caribe, es arroz caribeño. It tastes almost like coconut rice. Like it's como suave, like coconut con. You can add fish or lime or everything. That's the perfect mix. It's like a neutral taste, but delicious. Yeah. Muchas gracias, Freddy, okay. por enseñarnos esto. So La Bamba, for your authentic Caribbean Cuban rice that you can't get all over the place, but you can definitely get it here.